Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is part two of Credit Feeding Fight Stickery and our initial experiences online, I guess. This is ranked match, I don't know if I mentioned it. So far we're, we're not doing too great, but we're doing okay. Moral of the story is we're jumping too much, we're doing dragon punches too much, and we're doing tandem far too close to people. Hopefully we'll get out of those bad habits because we're fighting an Akuma here, and it's a slightly longer length match, which suits me just fine, because I like me some long fires. So, this guy is a C-plus rank, and he just fell for a standard cross-up right there, which is quite interesting. Doing a lot of jumping, a lot of dragon punching, right there was not the punish I wanted. He keeps going for the, the ranged sweep, do you notice that? A lot of sweeps with this player, and I managed to clip the round there with some nice kicks. Jumps on the beginning, catch him with the triple dragon punch. I need to get better with when to use my dive kick because the dive kick seems to be a pretty good move, a pretty good move at putting pressure on people. So I use the wall bounce there to try and catch him off into a fierce. He charges a, a big focus right there, which is very dangerous to do, especially if the person you're fighting knows how to break armor, which that move right there is an armor breaker for Seth. You do that, you're in trouble. If I do a dragon punch, you're in trouble because it's multi-hit, of course. Tatsu's over me. Dare to jump in. Right there was a failed SPD after the, uh, the hit string. For some reason he charges me right there, so I end up catching him with the EX uh, Shoryukens, and then I catch him with the tandem into the uh, standard setup that you'll see me do quite a lot with the double dragon punch after the crouching fierce, then into step kicks hopefully. There was a random collection of fierces right there. See how he's jumping a lot? C plus as well, that's a much higher rank than I am yet. Um, I expected... I don't know, maybe this guy's just they're having a bad day, but it looks like two new players to me fighting this, and uh, he gets around from me there with a dragon punch. That was a failed dash in, in a focus attack, I mean who the fuck am I going to hit from that range, but I ended up doing it anyway, which is one of those weird moments where you're like, why does that even happen? Definitely have to work on my dashing out of FADC stuff. So I know this guy is quite button happy. I managed to scoop him again. Do I get the kicks? Do I get the... Oh! And I, I fucked up. You're supposed to do two into the dive kick. If you do three, it'll put him into a, an uninterruptible state where you can't hit him. The only thing that'll hit him then is if you dive kick to the floor and you do a ultra. But I end up getting that game, and then I find this guy again. He's packing Akuma once more. And the cool thing about these matches for me is we are two extremely fragile, very... Uh, offensive heavy characters so it's one of those really interesting moments where out of all the cast to fight Akuma is probably the guy who has you know I mean what is Akuma's life 900 950 something like that he's the guy who's quite fragile so he's just as fragile as I am and it means we're both gonna be hurting each other and it's generally really exciting it's not quite as exciting as the Seth mirrors but it's about as good as it gets that right there I don't know what that was. I couldn't honestly tell you. Catch him with a sonic boom. He's jumping a lot, so I'm going to try and punish that if I can. Wake up with the Shoryuken because I'm a boss. He does the same. Catch him with the tandem. Don't FADC cancel because I don't have any meter for that. So I just... I shouldn't have done it. I should have gone fierce into fierce kicks. But I didn't because my brain just doesn't work apparently when I'm fighting humans. And I just look like an idiot. But a couple of interesting... Like, new player footsies right here. Goes for the demon. I try and do the jump back into a move. He gets the dragon punch on me. And I managed to land two jabs. He should have beat me then. He should have anti-aired me with the dragon punch, but I got lucky. There's a nice bread and butter. Towards the corner. Trying to catch it. That was... I don't know what that was. I'm surprised I didn't teleport then. It seems like something I would have done. But block string into SPD. Gonna try and get him with the cross-up. He tries to dragon punch it. Get him with a nice... Is it... Roundhouse medium kick. Jump off the wall into an air fireball. Puts me down like a dog. Jump into a fireball, which is something I should never really do. Uh, you'll notice with this dude, he gets kind of defensive, jumps back a lot, using his fireballs to zone, which, bit of a lag spike right there. Got a little crazy. And that's the second time I've, I've teased him on landing with whatever move he does and beat it with a dragon punch. I honestly couldn't tell you why I didn't follow it up. There was a random demon, which is very dangerous. And then another demon, which is uh, probably safer, because was that the super demon? Super is instant, ultra is not. Wow. So this dude. Remember when I said in a previous episode that I went online and I beat two people and I got beat by two people? This was one of the people that beat me. This is a B-ranked Dudley. 
And Dudley hurts, man, and this guy is a good player. So, that is an overhead which I should be blocking, but I'm not. Uh, that right there was my opportunity to do some damage into the corner, and I messed it up. That's another opportunity messed up because I didn't do the... That was a, a rare wake-up dragon punch. And there's a, a link into... Is it Machine Gun Blow? I think so. Uh, I don't really know too many of Dudley's moves. I've fought him quite a little bit. I fought him more in Third Strike. But you'll see him... He knows it's landing, and that's the thing. When a move starts landing and a player isn't punishing it, you're going to go to it, aren't you? So every single time I see that elbow coming and I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm not blocking it. Like, that's four times now. Four times into stun. And then he uses it to, to set up his very, very nice combo. So I sent him a message in my shame because he murdered me. And he sent me a nice message back, which was awesome. And then I found this guy who is a French game, C+. And immediately starts off with a focus attack. And uh, kind of like that weird crossover Tatsu move that I've seen some people do. Wake up straight into Dragon Punch. He goes to do a focus attack, which I end up getting a very lucky punish with. There's his Dragon Punch. So watch this. Jab, jab, low kick into uh, Sonic Boom. Like, Fierce, uh, sorry, focus into Ultra. His ultra doesn't do any damage, but I think it's just because his life is so high. But when when you get an ultra against Seth, you know, you're, you're pretty much dead. That's that's how he works. If you get ultraed, good luck, because it's not going to end well for you. Should have really confirmed on some of those. Oh, that was really bad range, but do you... Like, it's just... He's beating me with fundamentals, which is really what I should have, and I don't. So there you go, jab, jab, low kick into the Sonic, into the Hadouken. And I hear a term a lot when I read forums. It's called a pattern Ken. And I don't want to be derogatory towards this player because he's, you know, he's perfectly fine in my eyes. But is that what people mean? Where somebody does the same thing as as their setups? Look, jab, jab, low kick into Hadouken. And then that weird, like, crossover Tatsu thing. Is that what they mean when they say that? Or is that just how everybody plays Ken? Is that how you play Ken? I don't really know. And then we have another English guy playing Balrog. And this is an interesting match. Because this is obviously somebody who's played this game. And they think quite highly of themselves. Something I didn't know as well. Some of these combos, what Balrog does, it almost seems like it's a hit string. And he can continue it after those charged punches. And I didn't realise he could do that. I appreciate that Balrog's jab is really good. But... Um, I found it really strange, really strange. And this guy starts taunting, so, you know, he's obviously impressed with his skills. He can block a cross-up, which tells you that he knows what he's doing. I don't know why I went to that pattern jab-jab into SPD, because it didn't work. And I really should have... So there he goes again, punishes my foot, and taunts again, like... I don't really understand, he's not exactly the most impressive person you've seen me fight, so... Like, why do they do that? Is he luring a focus? Is he? Is it some kind of strategy that I don't know about with Balrog? Because I've never seen any pro Balrog players do that. I just think uh, this guy thinks he's uh, the shit, I guess you could say. There he goes trying to do the anti-hair headbutt, he ends up getting hit. <laughs> I try to do an instant overhead there, but he does the charge move. And once again, I jump into his... He's charged headbutt, which is silly, but you know, once you start doing it, you just keep doing it. And I take a round from him, so considering he was doing a lot of taunting, it makes you wonder why. Like, I don't see the point in the taunt too much. I get it by accident when I'm being a little bit heavy on the stick. And that right there, do you see that? When he linked between the, the EX move and the standard jab, I was holding block then, and he was still able to connect it, so I wonder if that's a... Like a true link. It looked really good, whatever it was. And uh, the dude ruined me. But this guy ruins me. And he doesn't fucking taunt because he's here to fight. And that's why I really respect this dude. Because he's a... You know, he's probably the best fighter I've come across online. And I just wish I had either more points or I was a better player. Because the dude's fighting me. He never once kicked me. And this is a guy who's beat me like three times. He never kicked me. Always was welcoming and... He was getting one point for beating me. One point. I don't think that's fair, that. Because the guy's, you know, he's doing a good job. He's doing exactly what Dudley should do. And he's, he's showing me up to be the new player that I am. And then afterwards, he gets the single point. Like, come on, guys. That's not fair on him. He's just done some awesome stuff. 
but goes for the overhead there. I punish it. Do I get the scoop? I do not have the bar for the scoop. And then he goes for the EX Dragon Punch, which I haven't seen him done too much. He's really good with that cheeky fierce or whatever it is to stop uh, the anti-air stuff. Gets me in the corner. I go for an SPD. Very foolish. I haven't blocked one of those, and it's making me really sad. Why do I keep doing it? And then this. The shame. <laughs> oh, don't even ask, guys. I couldn't tell you. But if you remember the C plus Akuma we fought earlier, well, now he's using a, a B ranked Oni. And I'm not too sure how reliable the ranking system is in this game, but I fought a B plus ranked Dudley. You just saw me fight him, and the guy knew how to play. Uh, this guy, I don't know if he, his friend was on his account or if he was having a bad day or maybe he has no knowledge of, about how to fight Seth. I don't know. But sweeps and jumping away fireballs like some kind of strange zoning game with Oni seems and then, you know, whiffing dragon punches, not blocking crossovers. Like cross-ups. I don't know why I'm calling it crossovers. I think I've got... Ooh, and I missed my link, which is not so good, but suffice to say, I think everybody can agree here watching this, this does not look like a B-ranked Oni, and that is uh, no disrespect to Deadhead. I don't mean it like that, dude, I just kind of mean, when I see b rank, I, I think, you know, lube up, and, you know, maybe I should have more faith in myself. That was a beautiful punish right there, I thought I had enough chip to, to take him out. He survived it, finished it, really well played. So he jumps back over into the corner, does a nice air dash, but ends up landing on the, the Sonic Boom anyway. Gets me with a sweep. I do a wake up Dragon Punch because it's working, and when things work, you go to them. And it's one of those mind games of is he going to do the Dragon Punch, is he not? So he does the crazy dashing slash, doesn't hit anything. Get a nice wall bounce cross up, but I don't confirm. Do I catch? I do not, do not have enough to scoop. Which is nice to see me. See, oh, that was terrible. That was really bad. But meter management is something I need to work on. Awareness of meter management as well. I need to be more aware when people have ultras and things. You'll notice I've not been doing my ultra too much. I think I was just kind of focusing on, you know, not panicking. And I was doing a shit ton of panicking. Finally, get the confirm. Do I do dash into SPD? Uh, I don't. I get... Wow, into Link. Uh, he must not have been blocking. Into full... Oh, dude, why did you do that? Come on, it's so easy down and fierce, Chris. Come on, get those fucking dive kicks. Confirm that damage. Right there, interrupts the Link. But then tries a focus. So I, I'm not too sure if that dude doesn't realise that uh, focusing from that close can be very dangerous. Also, focusing on people's wake-up, also very dangerous. Something that you need to, to be aware of. Against a computer, you'll land that shit every day. Against a human, they'll just ruin you. But does a jump over into a Dragon Punch, block it, get the full... Pull myself out a little bit, which you shouldn't really do too much with Seth unless you're planning some kind of mix-up. I was going to try and go for instant overhead and I get demon Which, that was the super version of the demon. I don't know if Oni's is instant, um, but I end up confirming into a standard bread and butter and finishing him off. But that was the end of the set, guys. Uh, I tried getting a couple extra games in, but it kept giving me a Brazil guy with no bars and an American dude with one bar, and I just didn't really fancy those, because these connections, you know, for as much as every so often there was a little bit of a link that got dropped where I felt I plinked it okay, most of it was all me. And the great part about this sequence is... You know, we're practically scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point, so the only direction to go here is up. And hopefully, in as I get, you know, playing more times, fight against more people, get a few people to spar with on the regular. Uh, I'm going to be putting up a video asking for people to, to hit me up so we can do some endless and I can just, you know, scrim some fights, scrim some fights. And even if it's you beating me 50 times in a row, at least I'm going to learn something from it, hopefully. And uh, that's how you get better. And... Hopefully you'll see improvements in future videos. But something to be aware of here, guys, which I need to say. This series is not just about fighting games. There will be other games featured. It's just at this moment in time we're focusing a little bit on Street Fighter because that's the thing I've been playing a lot. But thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.